Charles, really cool. That's awesome. All right, well, if you're looking for some good crawdads this weekend, <laughs> head on out to River Ridge. Local crawfish lovers will go head to head, no pun intended, in the annual crawfish <laughs> cook off, including two guys you might recognize the tailgate kings. Scott Sparks and Chef Charlie Fontenelle. Charlie and the tuna. That's it, baby. Sparky and the tuna. Yeah, tuna. I'm leaving you out. Was, right. You were leaving them out I, on I, the graphic yeah, there. I, you, yeah, you I tried to do that. You got the tuna the graphic, written little. All right. <laughs> all right, so tell us a little bit about the uh, what's going to be going on in River Ridge. Well, you got uh, this is the third annual time we've done it, and it is a fundraiser. And uh, we've got 33 teams this year, 7,000 pounds of crawfish. Cool. It goes from uh, 3.30 until 10. Uh, Sparky manages a, a group called the Black and Blues Band. They will be playing from seven, from seven to ten. Seven to ten, lots of beer, lots of crawfish. Come on out and eat it up. And it's right. going to be out at St. Matthew. Yeah, St. Matthew Matthews. the Apostle, and that's on Jefferson Highway in River Ridge. It actually opens to the public at four. Okay. Okay, and it goes all the way to ten o'clock at night. It's uh, you can pre-buy tickets for twenty dollars for an, uh, a male, ten for a um, female. And I think it's 17 and under. No, 11 and under is $10. That's not bad. So, at all. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's coming as all the crawfish you can eat. Oh, that's, so, not, uh, that's not bad at all when yeah. you consider you've got all a great, the You've got a great band, eat. the Black and Blues Band will be out there. And, uh, you know, so, so it, it, is a, it is a competition. What does the, what does the winner get? Well, this is it. We, I was self respect. I know. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. And that. And this, yes. Look at that. My team of uh, Jerry Nee and Chuck Rokas, we went out last year and uh, we took on the field and we won. So this is what you get when you come in first place. That's pretty sweet. It's neat, isn't pretty it? sweet. Plus you get bragging rights. And bragging all year long. You know, the, I've been digging all year long. <laughs> all year long. You've been rubbing it in. Right. All right. Well, you guys have prepared both of your own mixes outside. We've been smelling uh -huh. it in the building all day. Uh huh. What What is the difference between the two mixes? What do you do differently? Giving some folks pointers as to. <laughs> well, you, what you did put do. up our recipes, right? I think we and, do. And our yeah. recipes are, uh, are yes. very similar, but Sparky goes a little bit heavier to the uh, grinded uh, coriander and uh, what, what else? Clove. Clove is clove. one of my big, right. mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I actually, I use a mix, uh, you can only get it in River Ridge at a place called Dewey's, and it's uh, Ladon is the name of the brand. And uh, then I, you know, add my little, you know, uh, additives to it. Secret you know, to make it Secret yeah. Correct. And right. it's, you know, it's a lot of clove and a lot of garlic and, you know, just all the stuff that's supposed to be in there. Now, is there a, you know, exact time that you should start adding the seasoning before you put the crawfish in? You oh, know, yeah. do you have to work out the timing and all that? Absolutely. It does. It does. Because you, if you boil your season for too long, it, it does kind of take away from it. And then people add things like potatoes early and, boy, that'll suck up your stuff. But, you know, different uh, celery and mushrooms. mushrooms will really suck up yeah. a lot of your spices so you do I time the stuff that I drop in the water and, and when it goes in right. corn sucks up a lot it goes in very mm -hmm. last yeah and we okay. use frozen corn that way it kind of kills the really? boil and yeah, it mm -hmm. cools the water so it can soak longer which we have some that's still soaking too I, 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 I heard there was some still out in the pot. That's right. We've got some outside for the crew. So, so there's even more to go. So, you know, everybody's got their own little twist on it. So mm -hmm. are you doing the same thing that you did last year? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you didn't change it. Why do you? We're champions. Why don't, would we you don't change mess with anything? anything right. that, we're that, only the champion because I wasn't in it last year. Oh. Look. The name yeah, of my team <laughs> is Super Boiled Champions, okay? Super and, Boiled. And that's uh -huh. it. And so, you know, so mine is a much more traditional. Uh, I use uh, some cayenne. I use a mix. I use a liquid. I use the bags. Something that kind of handed down from my dad, but I've, I've tweaked it over the years. Lots of good vegetables. Lots of fresh vegetables mm -hmm. in it. A little bit of everything. And, so uh, you're, only, you're only judged on the taste of the crawfish, though, not oh, everything else you put in. Right. No, Correct. no, no. Just the taste. We just put this taste. stuff in just for the, for the crowd to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and Rob's going to be a judge. Right. And Rob, Rob's going to come out and, and judge. Rob said he was going to eat his weight in crawfish. Hey. <laughs> like I Good said, thing they've got 7,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah. But you can't beat the price and all you can eat crawfish this time of year, you know, crawfish That's true. still high. And I mean, so. look, these crawfish, these actually came from uh, Seether's in Harahan. Look at the size of these. They're huge. Yeah. I, I was going to ask you, that was my other question, was where these came from because these things mm -hmm. are like tiny lobsters. Right. Oh, the yeah. claw on that. Yeah, Jason Seethers at Seether Seafood on Hickory and Harahan. He hooked us up. And, yeah, look at some of these. Some of these are like lobsters. Look, look at the claws right, on that. I'm I mean, trying. There you go. Oh, yeah, we want you guys to taste. We want, this is the whole idea. Y'all supposed to taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, oh, supposed whoa, to. Oh, I didn't know. You know, yeah. yeah. I guess okay, everybody had to tune in tomorrow to see who the champion was today. <laughs> this is Sparky's right. tray. This is the tuna tray. And then, you know, at 9 o'clock when the show's over, we'll have the judging. What do you think about that? Delicious. Okay. okay. Delicious. Now i got to do right. the other one. you got to do that. It's got a couple of secret it, ingredients. It should have been a blind taste test. <laughs> well, we can do that. I don't want to be blindfolded with you two. Well, no, no, that's right. You don't well, know get Dawn in here. She's a blonde. Is that what you meant? No, oh, no, I thought. Stop that. You know, you know, oh, blind. Still, yeah, you know, we're blind. still in the air, guys. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. He's. A <laughs>
<laughs> in his old, old oh, world man, at this man, point. That girl's going to come over here and bust you out. Blonde. Butter and beer. Can't go wrong. I can't make a decision. You can't make a decision? I'll have to try a few more. We'll have to try I'll a few more. Try suck few some more heads, because that's uh -huh. really the juice in the heads that's is really what's, what it's all giant. about, right? FCC, I can't suck heads on. Oh. You can find both of those recipes <laughs> from Sparking in the Tuna on our website, fox8live.com. Just look under the lanyap section. If I'm still here, stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah.